I'm Bob Ram, Jeff Copper, ADHD coach. I've got a few tips for you. This is an ADHD conference, and it is about self-regulation. You know, a little lesson learned. Whenever you're in the bar at a conference, be careful what you come up with and agree to. <laughs> Last year, I met Chris Scott for the first time, uh, doing a pre-conference on uh, uh, marketing. We ended up, after our presentations in the bar over a cocktail, and we started laughing because we both like comedy. I actually live a mile from a comedy place that I walk all the time. And wouldn't it be nice if we would try to be funny? Yeah, you miss is going to a bad place, right? So, <laughs> over the last year, being the guy that I am, I'm, like, I'm a little impulsive, so I got talked into this by Chris, and now she can't even believe that she's up here. So, we thought about what would be funny, and we were trying to find something over the last year. You know, bottom line is, I ran into uh, the, have you ever watched the Redneck Comedy Tool, Jeff Fox, Larry, Larry the Cable Guy, et cetera. Who, Larry the Cable Guy, by the way, was, he started in Tampa, and he really was a cable guy. Um, but they used to do these things after they did the Redneck Comedy Tour called I Believes. And they were just fun things that they would do that was a little, a little improv. And so we put together a few I Believes just to see if we can get you guys to laugh a little bit. You game? All right, so here we go. I believe distractibility is God's way of helping those with ADHD just to forgive and forget. <laughs> I believe that we're all one nervous breakdown away from becoming a hoarder. I believe that getting somewhere on time is a state of mind. It depends on finding people who don't mind that you're in a different state when it's time to be somewhere. I believe that ADHD causes anxiety. But sometimes, it's in another person. I believe that clutter is in the eye of the beholder. And in the living room, and in the bedroom, and in the car. I believe that Shire should combine Adderall XR with Viagra and call it Adderall Triple X. Can Eric Tivers stand up? I believe that Eric Tivers has it right when he got 27,000 emails, just delete them all and declare email bankruptcy. I believe the six-ish means that I'm still on time at 6.59. Okay, this one's actually from a client. I believe that if you never actually get around to doing something, then it doesn't count as procrastination. <laughs> Remember how I said this all started, right? Okay, so I believe that when prohibition and bootlegging ended, half the ADHD population was then unemployed or bored. <laughs> that if you can't find something is the universe way of telling that you just don't need it. I believe that if your kid's teacher knows your cell phone number by heart, then you deserve a really, really good Mother's Day gift. Like a week in Jamaica with no cell service. All right, you should probably do this one, but I'll do it for you anyway. Okay, I believe the definition of ADHD foreplay is to take a shower. Uh, that was funny. <laughs> I believe that the ad campaign, Cow Gone, Take Me Away, was secretly targeting moms with ADHD kids and one ADHD a husband. Does insurance cover bubble baths? <laughs> I believe that from now on, February 14th should officially be Valentine's Day Eve. I believe that we need to ditch that line, look, a butterfly. Instead, look, a million dollar bill. 
Now that would get the attention of the neurotypicals. <laughs> I believe there should be a medication that helps you to remember to take your medication. <laughs> Thanks for laughing. Thank for you. I also believe that Chris is really happy that's over. 